My late spouse, who was Japanese, is a brilliant woman. She never got the credibility or the credit she deserved from my family of origin. And that always pissed me off. Because while she was sweet and precious, she had a mind that knew what to do. You see, the difference in Japanese culture to American culture is about social nuance. Japanese culture is a high context culture versus America, which is a low context culture. If you don't know what that is, go back to Psychology 101. But the one thing that Toshiko could always do was help me to read a person. And I was not always perfect at that because I'm always trying to be super analytical. But she had an intuitive, empathic nature that she could say, I wouldn't do that. I don't think that's wise for our family. I don't think that's wise for our classroom. I don't think that's going to work for your business. And openly, that's why I valued her. But at this time now that she's gone from my life, as my wife and my spouse of many years, I had to make a decision of what I wanted next. Because a man has a right to decide. And a stupid man will go chasing any tale he likes. But a wise man of God and with a faith in the Lord will pick one based on her brilliance. And I'm after a brilliant girl. And a brilliant girl doesn't lie. A wise woman doesn't steal. And an intelligent one doesn't cheat. Unless, of course, she's doing it for America. And what I mean by that, if she's got an FBI brain, then I'm interested. But if she's just a player who likes to get a lot of attention from the men in the neighborhood, not interested. Because that's not a safe game for me.